Hi, this will be a kind of special video. Its primary purpose is to give an example of when the Bahya Prayatnaha, the external efforts of articulation, are necessary in order to uh, complete an operation in the grammar. <coughs> uh, but along the way, will demonstrate and give you a taste of how the uh, grammar functions and uh, also <coughs> supports the idea that um, the hundred or so sutras that I shared in the last video, uh, which include the Akshara Samamnaya and the sutras for the operation of the grammar, provide the core of an understanding of the grammar overall. And when we learn those sutras and we become uh, comfortable uh, and spontaneous with their uh, functioning, for instance, uh, by applying them as we learn the next 200 or so sutras uh, related to Sandhi, then we will really have a meaningful knowledge and understanding of the grammar. And I think you can begin to see how that works here. So I'm going to do, again, mention several of the sutras which come into play. Uh, and I think, uh, again, the more you hear them, they'll become familiar to you um, as we come along, uh, as they come along in the sequence of sutras that we learn. <clears throat> It also reinforces the idea that by learning, I don't mean just memorizing something and understanding it. It's a deeper learning that occurs when we repeatedly uh, refresh our memory and practice so that at a certain point, we have access to all of the sutras simultaneously in our mind uh, and, and we also reflexively understand when they come into play. So uh, the sutra is from quite a way down the line, but we will get to it in our uh, order of things. Uh, it's 8461. <laughs> Stastamboho stane purvasya savarna syat. Udaha parayoho stastamboho stane purvasya savarna syat. Now, udaha is chaturti or ablative of ud. Uh, parayoho stastamboho is a uh, genitive and uh, because of that, we understand that the word stane is understood to be there. So uh, when a, an item in the grammar is used in the fourth case or ablative uh, without some specific ablative function or chaturthi function, then we understand that the, it, it is related to uh, something that follows it. And the sutra that enjoins that is tasmadi tyuttarasya. Tasmadi tyuttarasya. So another way that Parnini refers to uh, different cases in operation is by presenting them in uh, the form that they take in tad. So the similar is with the locative tasmeniti nirdishte purvasya, the saptami. So tasmadi tutarasya. So we uh, interpolate parayoho. So uh, uh, when, uh, well, then let, let's go to the next little bit. Stastamboho is a uh, shashti and we've mentioned before shashti stane yoga shashti stane yoga this is a very powerful sutra meaning that it 
comes into place often. In this case, it is is saying that when shashti is not being used in a uh, conventional way of shashti, the word or the term stane is understood to be present. And that means stane in place of. So in place of sta and stamboho, udaha, udaha parayoho, which follows ut, <coughs> purvasya savarna syat, the, pre- the savarna of the preceding will come. So, uh, in place of sta and stamboho, which follow ut, the savarna of the preceding, purvasya savarna syat. And uh, now, in order to clarify sta stamboho stane, what does it mean that the f- savarna of the preceding comes in place? We'll just choose sta to work with, they're both the same. Uh, comes in place of sta. Well, customarily, alontiasya, customarily when something comes in place of something else and it's not otherwise uh, specified, it comes in place of the, fu- of the final one. But when it comes in place of a preceding one, <coughs> uh, we, we have adef parasya, adef parasya. So um, in this case, it comes in place of the first. So the first of sta or of stamboho is s, s. And then, um, so uh, what that gets us to is, we'll just use sta in terms of both. <clears throat> when sta follows ut, in place of the preceding, of the following, the first of the following, that means s. So when sta follows ut in place of of sta, the savarna of the preceding, namely d, d, the savarna of d shall come. So then there's one more very important, very powerful uh, sutra that we've mentioned before, I think, that is really what uh, puts us to work, sthanentaratamaha, sthanentaratamaha. Uh, so here is the time to introduce or reintroduce two terms, adesha and sthanen. Sthanen is the thing being replaced, and the adesha is the substitute, the one that replaces it. So sthanentaratamaha is saying that the adesha, the substitute, shall be the closest one to the one being replaced. So now I w- we will see that, uh, um, uh, no, so that's where we get down to the nitty gritty of the uh, choices. So we're considering ut plus stanam, ut plus tanam. So here, sta follows ut. So the bottom line is, in place of the s of sta, following the ut, the savarna of d comes. So the question then becomes, what is, that means the, the savarna of d, which is most similar to s, the savarna of d, which is most similar to s. So first question is, what are the savarnas of the? Well, if you go back to uh, our discussion of uh, stanins, of places of articulation, and uh, I, I've mentioned in passing stanintara tamaha, if there's more than one kind of yatara nekevidam antaryam tatristanata antaryam baliha, if there's more than one kind of closeness, then the place of articulation is the strongest. <clears throat> so we start by looking at what are the attributes uh, the, in terms of placement uh, for savarnas to d. And uh, again, using the uh, information we had, we have tu and l. Um, 
as having the same place, places of articulation, of uh, as uh, the, and as you recall, two is ta 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 na, ta 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 na. Uh, however, then we have to consider the internal efforts of articulation in order to be sure we've got a savarna. So by the abhyantara, abhyantara prayatnaha of two is sprashtam, ta 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 na, but the abhyantara prayatnaha of l is ishat, ish, ishat sprashtam, ishat sprashtam. So l is not savarna to the. However, all five of two ta 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 na, ta 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 na, they are all savarna to the. So now we have a doubt which of the savarnas is of the is closest to s. So stanentra tamaha, the closest one comes. But the problem is these all have the same in, ec, internal efforts of articulation, abhyantaraha, yatnaha. So they will not separate out the correct adesha. So this is where we have to turn to the Bahya Parayatmaha. Uh, so the summary of that is the one being replaced, the Stanin, S, is Mahapranaha, Mahapranaha in terms of external <coughs> efforts. So of the possibilities, <coughs> da, 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 na, only two are Mahapranaha, namely <coughs> Ta and Ta. Then we have to look further. S is Shvasaha, Agoshaha, Vivaraha. T is, uh, well, let's jump to uh, uh, T is Kai. So it is also Shvasaha, Agoshaha, and Vivaraha. Shvasaha, Agoshaha, Vivaraha. However, D is anyaha, others, one of the others, so it is not the same. It's nadaha, goshaha, and samvaraha. So the is one being one of the others is nadaha, goshaha, and samvaraha. So the winner at the bottom, all the way down the line, t is the closest savarna of d of ud to the s of stanam. So the replacement is t. And the next step in the uh, sandhi, which is where we're stopping, is ut plus t tanam. Ut t tanam. So there you go.